in this section of the post below, I talk really well about ways that you can jump into adventure in your life and break from routine. So in this video, instead of talking about that, which I do really well below, I'm gonna talk for a little bit about the distinction between two types of routine. There's a type of routine that you design and you set up for yourself, which is what we're working on over the course of this entire post. I don't know if you noticed yet. And there's the type of routine that you eventually fall into no matter what you're doing. And the type of routine that is not so great for you is the type of routine that just comes from being used to your life. Uh, now, routine comes as a sort of just automatic optimization because humans are good at like not expending energy doing different things all the time. We're good at finding what works well and then doing that over and over again. And for me, that means going to Chipotle a lot and Taco Bell. It means watching YouTube videos. It means hanging out with friends and traveling when I get the opportunity to. And there are different things that I would like to do. And often I have to break that routine. And so this part of the post is about making a habit of breaking those routines, right? So if, if there's a time in my life where I need not to be bumming around Colorado Springs and then seeing my parents on weekends and hanging out with friends all week and then spending too much time swiping on Tinder or using Twitter, uh, then I have uh, something that I'm familiar with. It's a practice or a habit for breaking that routine, getting me out of my current way that I'm spending my day, or even out of the state and on to another adventure in a conference or with friends in other places uh, that is helpful for me to make sure that I don't stop progressing in life. I think that's what's really important, is, is not that you avoid routine altogether, but the routines you set are useful and productive and beneficial to you. A lot of people fall into unhealthy routines and then use those routines as an excuse not to try new things, not to design a life that they want to live in. And you know, what is life for if you're not gonna step up and make it worth living? Uh, I hope that this part of the post makes your life a little more interesting and inspires you to, I mean, it's not a huge effort, right? But just little changes you can make in your life that make things a lot more interesting and make your life a lot like you imagine it could be. That's what I'm hoping for in this section. I'll see you in the video about the next section. Thanks for watching.